Just the day before the Nigerian government had announced it would be suspending Twitter operations in the country, ironically through the Twitter account of the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture. They are to delete that tweet because of what it can cost, because of what it means to brand my business on Twitter. Uh, but just the way the, the ban came, it came as a shock to many of us. And again, um, just in a week that uh, they banned the Twitter, about 40 billion was lost by, by unemployed youth. On the day the band went live, the Association of Licensed Telecommunications Operations of Nigeria, which represents all telecommunications companies and service providers in the country, confirmed that its members had received orders from the federal government to suspect the assets of all Twitter users. Kind of community guidelines. I'm sure Facebook, Facebook has community guidelines, but Twitter should have something, something like that. Maybe terms and conditions or something. So if a speech which you uploaded, you know, um, like was against their community guidelines, then they are justified for deleting it. But if not, and they still deleted it, then it will be seen as hatred, and we will never, you know, accept Twitter in Nigeria again. Because they, they keep, I heard in the news um, yesterday or the first day that um, Twitter is responsible for the, for the one English like that, like uh, the uh, misbehaviors of youth in Nigeria, something like that, that Twitter is responsible for it. So any blame in Nigeria, they could blame, blame it, Twitter, blame it. Pres to Twitter's decision to delete a tweet made by the government, citing it as a violation of the HAPS rules against abusive behavior. His account was also suspended for 12 hours. The controversial tweets threatened to rebel groups assumed to be behind recent attacks on the security agent in southeastern Nigeria. The government called the Twitter ban temporary, but in a rare interview with the president, he prefers to keep the timeline to himself. There's a $6 million loss in the country daily due to the Twitter ban, thereby increasing the unemployment rate and poverty. People feel the government is taking this personally due to the NSAS protests that went viral using the social media Twitter. Everyone will not familiar you. Reporting for Pen Radio TV, Lagos.